Lakshmi Tantra Chapter 23 Description of Matrika Shri I am the Supreme Shakti of Narayana, the eyehood of the all-pervasive Absolute Brahman, the Supreme Lakshmi Narayana. To help the world, I become the preceptor and, in the form of Sankarshan, I radiate the sacred texts. In other words, the preceptor should be viewed as an expansion of myself as Sankarshan, the universal spiritual teacher. Again, dwelling in the frame of the mortal preceptor and equipped with true knowledge, I, through my glance full of Shakti and by means of compassionate mantras, protect the disciples who approach me. Hence, disciples should always regard their preceptor, though mortal, as identical with myself. Now learn how to impart mantras to a disciple. First, a small earthen pitcher should be worshipped by an offering of pure flowers on ground that is undefiled, leveled, smooth, free of impurities, painted according to the social class of the disciple, white for brahmanas, red for kshatriyas, yellow for vaishas, and black for shudras, coated with liquid cow dung, rendered fragrant by incense, weeded clean of thorns, decorated with fragrant flowers, saturated with panchagavya, the five cow products, and smeared by unguents such as sandalwood paste. This ritual should be accompanied by my own mantra, Tara or Hring, preceded by Pranava and followed by Namas. Om Hring Namaha. Then repeating the mantra along with the first Vyahriti, also preceded by Pranava. Om Hring Bhu. Clay should be spread over the ground that has already been scented with perfume and incense. Whereafter, a well-built and regular matrika pitta, pedestal, should be made, either square or well-rounded in shape, and measuring one or two cubits across. The same goddess matrika, represented by fifteen letters, can be traced in different groups of letters such as Ka, etc. She is the mother of all mantras and represents my manifestation in sound. The mantra adept should draw a diagram in the form of a lotus or a disc. When the mantra refers to Purusha, the diagram should be in the form of a disc. But if it refers to Goddess Lakshmi, the prescribed form is the lotus. Shakti, pervaded by Agni and Soma, has sixteen components, Aha, and the fifteen vowels including Ng, and is called Visrishta, created. To the east of the design, the adept should draw petals, in the case of the lotus, or spokes, in the case of the disc, to represent her mantra matrika called swara, vowel. The five groups of letters, ka, etc., representing the tattvas, starting with prithivi, ha, and ending in purusha, ma, should be drawn as petals or spokes in the direction starting with agni and ending with vayu, that is, Southeast, South, Southwest, West, and Northwest. The four letters, Ya, Ra, La, Va, which represent the Dharana within the mind, should be drawn by the wise on the north side, 
in the form of either spokes or petals as described before. The group of letters Sha, Sha, Sa, Ha, Ksha, which terminates in Turiya and is said to represent the five Brahmans, should be drawn in the form of either spokes or petals to the northeast of the diagram. The supreme and pure Brahman, consisting of light and known as Shabda, should be meditated upon as splendor, circumscribing the diagram of the disk or of the lotus, as the case may be. In the diagram, the wise should worship me, the Prakriti in the form of the tattvas, with the letters known as tattvas, starting with pranava and ending in namas. Om Bhang Namaha, Om Bhang Namaha, etc. Then, in the pericarp of the lotus diagram, meditations should focus on the mother of mantras, Lakshmi, visualized as Mantra Matrika, who is beginningless and endless, the goddess, Ihood of Vishnu, the wife of Purushottama, the goddess Padmini holding the noose and the goad, wearing a wreath of lotuses, gracious, with a complexion like the heart of a lotus, the great mistress of all the worlds, whose body is composed of letters and decorated with ornaments made of letters. Her body represents Shabda Brahman, her head Pranava, A and A form her eyebrows, while E and E are her eyes. U and U form her ears, Ri and Ri her nostrils, while Ri and Ri are her cheeks. A and I her lips, O and Ao the two rows of her teeth. N is her tongue, and Aha her voice. The group of Ka and the group of Cha are her two hands, while the two groups of Ta and Ta form her two legs, and the wise regard Pa and Pa to be her two sides. Ba and Ba are the hind and fore parts of her body. Ma is her navel. Ya and Ra are her prana, vital airs, and body temperature. La is her necklace, Va is her girdle. Sha and Sha represent her earrings, Sa is her heart, while Ha is her soul in the heart. The adept should recognize Ksha to be her lightning bright radiating halo. Ranga, the nasal modifications of vowels, represent the tip of her nose and the twin letters, her heart. Then, the jiva muliyaka, letters formed at the root of the tongue, remain at the root of her tongue, and the letter upadmaniyaka, the visarga before pa and paha, in graded order, lingers between her lips. Mantra matrika, is to be visualized as wearing the Vana Mala, consisting of beautiful auspicious lotuses made of letters containing Agni and Soma, and reaching from shoulder to feet. The learned should regard Ha, belonging to the great Lord, as the crown of the goddess, as radiant as millions of flames, moons, and suns, and adorned with glittering jewels. Thus envisioning the goddess Matrika, the mother of mantras, the adept should worship her with offerings of flowers, argya, etc., accompanied by the mantra, Aum namo mantra matrike idam argyam grihana. O mantra matrika, be pleased to take this offering, humbly presented, for your gracious acceptance. And likewise, 
with offerings of items of food in due order. Then, with palms joined, paying obeisance in a prostrate position where eight parts of the body touch the ground, the adept should propitiate the goddess with these words, O Padma, whose seat is the lotus, whose abode is the lotus, beloved of the lotus-eyed Vishnu, container of all the tattvas, goddess mother of all mantras, reveal thyself to me in thy supreme form as the divine Lakshmi. By uttering this prayer after due ritual preparation, the mantra worshipper will become identified with Lakshmi. The preceptor, who has thus arranged the letters beginning with A and ending in Ksha on the Matrika Yantra or diagram, and who himself has thus become identified with Matrika, should then invoke the desired mantra and teach it to his disciple. O Shureshwar, those mantras that possess both Bija and Pinda are considered the best of all mantras. Among these, Bijas are even superior to Pindas. O Vasava, the jewels among the Bijas are these seven. The first is Tarka, Aung. The second is Tarika, Ring. The third is Anutarika, Shring, which is equal in Tejas, power of brilliance, to the two previous ones. The fourth is Jagadyoni, which is regarded as the great Bija. The fifth Bija pertains to Pradyumna, the sixth is known as Saraswata, and the seventh is called the one that contains Mahalakshmi. These are the basic bija mantras of the Pancharatra system. The subtlety or grossness inherent in each mantra will be treated when describing the various mantras separately. Now, O Chakra, listen attentively to their respective descriptions.